Welcome to this presentation where we will be looking at items in Dynamic Web. At the most basic level, you could use items to create pages and paragraphs from item types. You can use it to extend website, user and page properties with item fields. And you can also use it to collect data submitted by your users through an item. But in this case, we'll be using uh, items to create a page. Um, an item based structure, when you create a structure based on paragraphs and um, and pages uh, via items, you provide your editors with a very easy to use editorial interface. And how that looks, I'll just get back to in just a uh, in a moment. Let's get into the details right here. We'll go to the settings. This is where we find our item types. When I unfold it, you'll all already find a lot here. And that's because I'm using the Rapido website where we already have a bunch of uh, uh, items that are available, but just Let's look away from these and create our own. And how to do that? I will right click at uh, and, and click the add item type right here. And I'm presented with some settings. For this example, I'll create a person and the person will have a name and a birthday. So I'll just have a new item here called person, sorry, like this. And I'll be using it for pages. I would like to have a neat icon. So let's pick this one. He looks very happy and I'll just okay this one. And then I need to add my two fields, which were the name and the birthday. So first for the name and it will get a system name right here uh, automatically. I have a bunch of types I can uh, choose between, but this will just be a text field. So I'll not get into more specifics about this. Just notice right down here, you also have some validation where you can set some uh, expressions to validate it and you can also set it to be required. I'll not get into those details. I'll just OK this one and then I'll add my birthday like this. For the birthday, it will make very good sense to pick a date type. So I'll just do that and I'll OK this one as well. And I'll just save it. One small settings I would like to change though is that when I create this page, I would like the title of the page to be the same as the name of the person I create. So it just makes sense in the tree view. So I'll just pick this name and I'll just OK it and I'll save it again. The next thing I need to do is set some restrictions. What are the rules for uh, the item I've just created? Here I have my website, so I'm just working with my basic design on my awesome website, which I created in another video presentation. And I like to allow this to be created in the root of the website, but it can also be created on their other pages. So I'll OK that and then I'll save it. And I don't think I have anything. At the, yeah, it's just placed down here underneath the others. I'd like to change that as well. So I'll go back to my settings and I could do that through the category here. I'll just call it persons like this. And I'll OK that. And when I save and close it, you'll see that it's being put neatly under this person's folder I have right here. So now I can go to my content and I can create a new page. Now you'll see that I have a person right here and my name is Morton. So that's what I'll put in. And the very neat thing about this is that now you can see the whole purpose of the easy to use editorial interface because the user is forced into just providing the very information that we would like for the editor to provide. There's nothing to be confused about. You just need to set a name and you need to set a date to whatever it may be. And then you can save and close it. And now you have a new page. I can right click it and I can choose show page and it will show absolutely nothing. And that is because when you have a item, you have to have a razor template that goes along with it. So that's the next thing we'll create. And the placement for that is in the designs folder, just in the root of it. And in this case, I'm using the dynamic web design right here. So I need to create a new item uh, razor template right here. So I'll right click this one and create a new file. It has to be the same name as the name of the uh, uh, the system name of the item, which is person. So I'll OK that. Now what needs to go in it? The easiest way to find that out is to put in the template tags because that will reveal all the tags that are available. So saving that and going back to the front end and pressing F5, it will now reveal all the template tags that are available in the context that I'm in. So if I just search for my name, I'm not looking for the page name. I'm not looking for the top page name. I'm looking for the item name. This is right here. So I could just 
pick the actually the right one to pick is the uh, item name dot value. I'll use that, and you will be uh, you'll be uh, home safe. So going back here, I can put in my. I'll just remove that, and then I can put in a get value. Put it in quotes. I can save this. Go back. Press F five and hopefully it will present me with my name. So there we are, but also notice that my navigation is gone. So let's just get all of it. I'll just copy this one and I will pick my birthday like this. I'll just save it and then I'll just go back to the administration right here and then I'll open my front page. I'll edit. And I'll just steal the reference to my master template because that's why the navigation is missing. I'll close this again. I'll just put this in at the top and I'll save it. Go back to the front end, press F5 and hopefully I'll get both my name and my birthday. And I'll also get the navigation back. This doesn't look very nice. I like to have a header and I like to remove this. So getting back here, I can put this into an H2. And I can put this into just a paragraph. Now to remove the uh, the time right here from the uh, from the date, I need to strong type my date, and I can do that by using the get dates. And I can perform date operations on this in just the uh, the, the the ordinary um, C sharp way. So I can go back here, and I can put in a dot, and I could use the uh, to short date string use that method and I can save it and I can press F5 and now you can see that it looks more like I would like it to 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 appear okay so let's go back for one uh, final thing I'll just go back to the administration and back to my settings because I would like to create an employee as well. And an employee has the same settings as a person, but some additional settings as well. So I'll add a new item type to my person's folder right here. I'll just call it employee. I'll use it as a page. I would like to have a icon. I'll just pick another icon that looks like some person-like thing. And then here at the bottom, I would like to use the inherited from where I'll just pick my person like this. And I think that's it. And then I'll save it. Oh, add at least one more field because I'm inheriting. So my new field, that could be a department. So when you're an employee, you're also in a department like this. So I'll just OK this one. And when I save it now, you'll see that I get also the fields from my person. So just to get the right order, I just order the department down here under the name and I'll save and close. And now I can go back to my contents. And let's put it under the front page. I'll create a new. Oh, I need something. I just recall it. Go back to my employee. I need the restrictions. I need to set where I can use it. So I'll just pick the same settings and as I did on my person. So like this, save and close. And now I can go back again and create a new page. And here's my employee, Superman. And I have the same fields as the person, plus I have the department right here. So I have Superman. He's on the board of directors and he has some kind of birthday, who knows when. And I'll save and close it. And going back to the front end, pressing F5, now you can see I get a sub page, Superman. Nothing happens. Same problem as before. I need to go to my files. I'll just copy my person right here and I'll edit. And I'll put in the department like this. I'll just put in a P like this. And then I will save and close it. And I'll just rename it so that it's being called employee.cshtml. I'm going back, pressing F5. Hopefully, I get my information about Superman right there. And with that, we also reached the end of this presentation. So thank you for watching.